I have proof that Sokka is indeed Suyin Beifong's father. I also have proof he is not. Let's discuss. If you're new here, we do frequent Avatar videos, including episode reviews, theories, and analysis, so please consider subscribing. There's always been a growing question as to who is the father of Toph's daughters. We found out in season 4, after Bolin asked Toph about it, that Lin's father was some unassuming guy named Tato, but we still don't know who Su Yin's father is. There's a big portion of Avatar fans that believe Sokka is the father of Toph's second daughter, Su Yin. So what are the reasons this could be? Well first off, Sokka and Toph share a strong connection. They travel the world together on their journey to defeat the Fire Nation and end the 100 year war. Often accompany each other on missions and clowning around, Sokka and Toph have great respect and admiration for each other and bring out the very best in one another and also a little of the worst. They have grown to a point where they can set aside the jokes and sarcasm and really let down their walls and show their vulnerable sides. But is this a romantic connection? For Toph, it seems so. It is shown throughout the series that Toph may have a crush on Sokka. We see Toph often blushing around Sokka, which in the Avatar series is a dead giveaway of romantic feelings. In the episode The Serpent's Past, Toph went so far as to kiss Sokka after he saved her, only to find out it was Suki. Oh, Sokka, you saved me! Actually, it's me. That is a very interesting scene. In an interview with AvatarSpirit.net, the creators were asked about that very scene. And they said, It was our little recognition of this Toph Sokka romantic interest. Toph having this little crush on Sokka. And we thought it would be funny to have it happen that way, since she can't see in the water. So Toph's romantic interest in Sokka is canon. That being said, it seems to be one-sided. In the show and comics, it only appears that Sokka has feelings for Princess Yue and Tsuki. But hey, we've seen one-sided relationships turn into marriage, kids, and even grandkids. Which leads me to more evidence that Sokka is the father of Su Yin. Su Yin's children admittedly have some striking resemblance and personality traits to their would-be grandfather. Su Yin's son Han looks a lot like Sokka and also shares his appreciation and talent for creative abstract art. Batar Jr. is a dead ringer for Sokka, and if we didn't know any better, could pass as an adult Sokka. Batar Jr. is also a brilliant engineer, which could have been inherited from Sokka. But this brings me to reasons that Sokka is not the father of Su Yin. It should be stated that when it comes to animation and comics, the animators and illustrators behind them tend to draw certain characters in a similar fashion. For instance, look at these drawings of Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent by acclaimed artist Jim Lee. Can you really tell the difference between the two? Which brings me to my next point. One character in Su Yin's family that looks like Sokka as well is her own husband, Batar Sr. I would argue there is a greater chance that Sokka is his father than Su Yin's. He looks like Sokka more than Su Yin does, he is brilliant, and he is a non-bender. Maybe Sokka met another woman in the Earth Kingdom who was unknown and had kids with her. Same with the thought of Toph. I mean, there are countless other people to meet and fall in love with in the Avatar universe. As mentioned before in the episode Operation Bayfong, Bolin point blank asked Toph who Lin's father was. In the commentary for this episode, the creators Brian Canisco and Michael DiMartino remarked on her love interest. We didn't want it to be so simple that it was blind, not, not everyone from the old series hooked up with people you know. Like, <laughs> like people's lives went on, they met other people that weren't giant, you know, big characters yeah, in, they met, in the world. They yeah. met love interests beyond uh, their 12 years. <laughs> yeah. So here's my take. It is my belief that Sokka is not the father of Su Yin. And would we even want that to begin with? Given that we know Toph raised her kids on her own, we would have to think of Sokka as a deadbeat dad, and that would not be the Sokka we know and love. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Toph is such a great character on her own. She is tough, resilient, ingenious, brave, innovative, and above all else, a badass. She doesn't need anyone or anything else to define her.
With that being said, I highly encourage the ship. So what do you think? Please like, comment, subscribe, and sincerely, thank you for watching. I'm out.